Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. So, there's been a lot of chatter about raiding Area 51. There's been a lot of invites on Facebook. Kind of disappointed that I haven't got invited to go raid Area 51 to see some aliens, but I was thinking that if I did get invited that I should have my gear list ready to go. So, I want to go over some gear that I would take with me if I were going to raid Area 51. So, start with my personal protection equipment here. This is what I would wear. I have my Hardhead Veterans 3A helmet, which I just got in. Uh, it's multicam, black multicam. So, um, how tactical is that? So, pretty excited. Got to have safety glasses always. I've got some hearing protection here as well. And then my plate carrier. Got to have level four plate carrier here. I have some multi tools, some little minor equipment here. I have my IFAC. I have some good supplies in here, like a soft tee. There's an Israeli, there's combat goals, there's MPA, there's hyphen chest seals over here. Over here is a Gen 7 cat tourniquet. Also, take a look at my patches here on this side. It says, bad decisions make good stories, which I think rating area 51 fits right into that one. And then it says, as ready as I'm going to be. I think that pretty much sums up this video. So, another protection equipment I'm going to have for me is my 300 Blackout. Just picked this one up. Uh, I bought it at PSA, uh, Palmetto State Armories, 10 and a half inch upper, uh, 300 blackout with a DI optical red dot. Got my drum magazine ready to go. I got one first aid kit here. Have another first aid kit here. Uh, this again, this is for me and my buddies. A little bigger kit. I've got a stretcher, uh, lots of medical supplies in there. So I think that's for our group, our people that are going to raid with me if I get invited. Uh, but what I really want to kind of concentrate on is what kind of trauma kit would I make for aliens because by gosh I'm gonna put my life on the line to go raid area 51 and to see some aliens I want to make sure I can take care of them protect them as well it's probably how I'd get the invite being skinny medic so let's take a look at my trauma kit for aliens all right, so the pouch that I chose here is an SOE pouch here. This is their tear away, so you could mount it to your vest, battle belt, whatever, and it's gonna pull away, disconnect. And then we have another red tab to pull here, opens up, and then we have another red tab. So we'll just kind of start this way and work our way over. 36 MPA is what I chose for an airway. This thing is huge. I mean, most aliens have that big old head and then they have a big old long neck. So I felt like I may need a larger MPA than normal. So, God, this thing's huge. So, I also have some lube. We may not need this. They're pretty snotty, at least the ones I've seen. Um, so you may not need to actually need lube for this, but I think this is gonna be long enough to reach down their long neck and help open up their airway. Let's put some burn cream in there. They may have uh, lightsabers they may have lasers so I think burns may be a real problem here so I put some burn cream in there put some band-aids in there and this is kind of you know maybe more towards me I would hate to get a paper cut and that in the mission so I thought I would throw some band-aids in there we don't know what kind of stuff we have, what we're dealing with, so a good pair of gloves is important here, I think, because they may be slimy like we talked about. We don't know what kind of bacteria out of this world diseases they have. So I think a pair of gloves is going to be essential. I went with a SWAT T tourniquet. I think you could go with a SWAT T because they've got little bitty arms, little bitty legs, everyone I've ever seen. So you don't really need a cat, or you don't need a soft T, nothing like that. I think the SWAT T tourniquet is gonna be great for those arms and legs, if the aliens even bleed. Have you ever seen alien bleed? Maybe I just missed that movie. Duct tape, every kit needs some duct tape. So put some flat fold duct tape, that was gonna bring me to my next item here is I've seen pictures and videos of aliens maybe they're smooth maybe they're like wrinkled uh, they have ridges on there so I didn't know if like good commercial like hyphen or halo chest seals would actually work so 
I put some saran wrap in here. We can open this up. This is going to open up pretty big. Let's stick together. So we can keep opening this up. And I think we can use this to get sealed and make a chest seal. And then we can tape it on there if we needed to. You can't fight aliens without a space blanket. Mylar space blanket is a must. You gotta have it on there. So I think that would just go right there. Fits perfectly in there. And then we can be ready to go. I think we have pretty much everything to treat the March algorithm. We could probably put some galls in here, but you know we can treat major bleeding here. And then we have our airway, we have respiratory, uh, not much we're going to do for circulation for the aliens. Uh, I don't even know where to look for an IV. Um, do they carry blood products for aliens? I don't know the answer to that. Um, and then heat loss and head injuries. So I don't know how to tell if an alien has a head injury. But we can definitely prevent heat loss with a space blanket. So there you guys go. So I hope this video helps. It probably really didn't help. I hope it gave you a good laugh. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember the right gear and the right training.